We're having a rainy day today, so I'm going to be making rainy day cheeseburger soup. I feel like I can't get away with making soup all the time in the summer, so usually when it's a rainy day, we try to have something like this. I got some bones going in the Instant Pot this morning for chicken broth. Cut up potatoes, carrots, onions, celery, and then some sweet corn. We're gonna take off the cob. I cooked up a couple pounds of ground beef. I was gonna reserve half for a meal later this week, but instead what I think I'm gonna do is make a double batch so that we can eat this for lunch and dinner, and then I have to worry about cooking again today. So I'm going to set the beef aside because I don't like to cook the beef in the broth. Add all these veggies, cook it in the broth, add the beef back, and then add lots of salt and pepper. Some fresh picked parsley from the garden this morning. And then I'll add the beef back in and shredded cheese, maybe some sour cream. We love cheeseburger soup. You can really add any vegetable to it. As long as you have meat and cheese, it tastes really, really good. I have a little bit or half a loaf of my Whoa. rye sourdough bread. And so I'm gonna cut it in slices and then I'm going to cook it up in some butter to serve alongside the soup. I think that'd be a good little side. Today we are doing skillet pork chops. I like to brown the pork chops first in some butter to give them some nice color in my cast iron skillet. Then I add salt and pepper. I also like to add fresh rosemary from the garden. This gives it an extra delicious flavor. And then I just finish them off in the oven with a lid. I served this with some sweet potatoes that I just baked in the oven. I like to, whenever the oven's going, put in some sweet potatoes and then we can always use them for pancakes. In the morning I'll do where I'll mix cooked sweet potatoes with eggs and cinnamon and then just fry them up. They're a delicious grain-free pancake. It's a good way to get the kids to eat more eggs. And we served it also with some sauerkraut. All right, we're doing pizza night tonight. I already have some pizza stones, well, a pizza stone and a cast iron skillet preheating in the oven. I'm going to get a crust going there and then I'll probably do it again to do four crusts because um, I'm starting really early. That way we can have pizza night. I'm sure if you've been following along a while, you know about the pizza crust. It's really easy. You simply put sourdough starter on a preheated stone or skillet. You just do a really thin layer and then add a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, herbs, Now you can see that it does cook pretty quickly after hitting this really hot skillet. I haven't even put it back in the oven yet. Now it's still, of course, a little bit soft. But normally, I put this straight back in the oven, but whenever it is tomato season, I like to roast right on top of it some fresh tomatoes and do that instead of sauce. The goal is to just get them really, really thin. on there as well. So I'm just gonna put these on and pop it back in the oven on a really hot tin so that everything will roast while the crust cooks.
going to do a date sauce and jalapeno goat cheese one for, for me and Luke. This is our favorite combination. All right, I have a Zoom meeting in T minus 55 minutes, so I need to make something really fast so I can get everybody fed, get the kids down for naps so that I can be ready for my meeting. So I'm going to do some steak tacos. I have some steak thought out from my sister's farm. I'm gonna slice it really thin, cook it in some butter, lime juice, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, add some cilantro, and then just cook up some pre-bought corn tortillas in some butter, and then shred some cheese, make some guacamole, and we'll have a quick Mexican fiesta. Heading out to the garden tonight. It's raining. Danny's with me and it's raining, but we're going to be making a sourdough skillet with acorn squash. I made this a week or so ago in my stories and I want to make it again because it was really good. So I just do an acorn squash and onion sourdough skillet. I'm also going to pick some jalapenos while I'm out here because we got a bunch of them. Let's see here. There it is. It's my second one this year that's been ripe and ready. All right. Also some rosemary tonight with this. I'm gonna keep things really basic and simple today. I have a chicken thawed out in the refrigerator, so I'm just going to add some coconut oil to it, salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe some fresh herbs, pop it in the oven, and then just serve it with sliced avocado, sauerkraut, uh, maybe I'll steam up some green beans. This is just, whenever I have a whole chicken, I will just cook it, and then whatever veggies I have, I could even do some carrots, steam, I might do that, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna just keep it really basic. Get it going in the oven because I have my sister and her kids coming today and I just need something really easy and hands off. I decided to make one of our favorite ways to make zucchini. It's a zucchini mac and cheese. So I just saute shredded zucchini in some butter and a little salt. And then just some cheddar cheese. Melt it on top. Okay, I'm gonna start this, these peppers, by cooking up some quinoa. I do have this recipe on the blog, but I'm gonna just do half cup of quinoa and then a cup of water. Okay, next I'm gonna get some of my peppers from the garden, cut in half, 
and roasting. I like to leave on the stems just because I think it looks really pretty. I'm gonna get this roasting, these roasting, while I'm doing the filling. Cook some meat up with garlic and onion. Thanks so much for following along with this What We Eat in a Week. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some new inspiration for some recipes in your kitchen.